Okay guys, the first step in setting up differential thrust on your new DX6 or DX9 transmitters, not the old DX6, the new one, is first you, you've got two motors. This could actually work with four motors or six motors too as long as you tie all the motors on one side together to a, to a single input and then you tie all the, the motors on the other side to a single input. So here we've got our two ESCs, we've got our power hooked up through a Y connector and then we've got our ESCs plugged into our our receiver. Now receiver setup is really important. Let me zoom in here real quick get it focused and then this this is one of the main key elements of setting up your differential thrust. So I've got my left motor tied up to the throttle right here. So left motor ESC goes into the throttle. Right motor goes into auxiliary one. Left motor, throttle. Right motor, auxiliary one. Now we can set up the transmitter. Okay guys, let me show you how to set up your transmitter here. First thing we need to do is tie the motors together. Now if you look, I'm going to see if you can see my... Nope, you can't. Um, back out a little bit. If I push my rudder stick up, look at that. Auxiliary 1, which is where we have our other motor plugged in, does not move. Only your throttle moves. So we need to now tie these two together. And the way we do that is... Get out of here. Uh, we're going to go all the way down to system setup. Now, this took me a, quite a while to figure out. We're going to go down to channel assign. Now if you're not doing differential thrust but you're doing a dual motor setup, all you have to do is change this auxiliary one to throttle. Now you can't do that in this application because then it senses that you don't have six channels, you only have five to work with now that these two are th tied together. So do not do this for differential thrust. That one hung me up by hours to figure out. Go to next down here at the bottom. Now we're in channel input config. Now in channel input config we're going to change auxiliary one to throttle. Now, if you did not change, you can go here, previous, if you did not change this input to throttle, but you did change the channel input config on channel 6 to throttle, now you can see look at that, now they're tied together. Now, like I said, if you're not doing differential thrust, you can just go to assign channel and change channel 6. But if you're doing differential thrust, you must do channel input config, change channel 6 to uh, throttle. Now look at them. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. That took me so long to figure out because I'm not very smart. Next, let's go to the mix. There's two mixes. Our first mix. Mix number one is going to be rudder to auxiliary one. So rudder to auxiliary one. Now we're only going to change one of these rates. And the rate is this first rate uh, associated with the rudder. Now for some of my more aerobatic planes, I'll change this to 125. Just for this demonstration, I'm just going to change it to 100. The reason I changed it to 125 is because I want the maximum amount. Okay, and then we'll set it to a switch. All you got to do is flip the switch. We'll go switch H. That way we can turn differential thrust on and off. Next, we'll go to mix 2. And then this one is going to be rudder to throttle. Because remember, they're on two separate channels. And then we're not going to change this rate, we're going to change this rate. And it's got to be negative number. Negative 100. 
That way they're equal on either sides. We'll go put it on a switch. Switch H. There we go. Now that's it. You are finished setting up differential thrust. Let me show you on servo. Let me show you right here. Now we've got our motors tied together. See? Beautiful. But now if I give, let me back this out here. Now I've got, here I'm going to flip the switch right here. Okay, switch is on. And I'm going to show you what happens. So I give a right rudder input. And look, top throttle and rudder move. Now I give a left rudder input and the auxiliary one and the rudder move. Now let me show you what this looks like on our setup here. Okay guys, let me show you how this looks in a real setup. So we've got our battery plugged in and we've got our motors tied together. So I give throttle, both the motors are turning. Now, since we've got our differential thrust on, if I give a right rudder input, only this motor's firing. And that's what we want. The opposite of the input. So right uh, rudder input, we want the left motor to fire. Left rudder input, we want the right motor to fire. So here it is. Right, left motor. Left, right motor. Now let me show you on a model how this looks. Okay guys, uh, I'm going to show you on a real life shot here. Um, what differential thrust looks like. So here we're going to give a left rudder input and that's the right motor that's firing. And my rudder servo is making a lot of noise. Now if I give a right rudder input see that? The left motor fires. So it's always the opposite motor uh, to the input. So left rudder, right motor. Right rudder, left motor. And that's differential thrust. Let me know if you have any comments or questions.